Hi everyone, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Today is a live stream session. We are going to talk fall fashion. But before I do that, I just want to say, if you're new here, this is a channel where we talk all about sewing and crafting, and um, I really, really enjoy teaching what I know to others and also learning from you. So, um, Go ahead and join us, click subscribe. Um, we're a great bunch of people, so stick around. All right, so today I want to introduce a new challenge that I am actually proposing <laughs> to you guys. And um, it's called the uh, Sew for Fall Fashion Bingo. And I sort of came up with this. I was watching a book channel and they were doing all this book bingo things and I thought, Oh, we could do that with fall fashion. So I'm gonna explain all about that and also talk about some of the trends. I did a little research on what trends were um, out there for fall 2023 and um, I found out some interesting things. So I'll also share that as we go. Let me see who's here. Hi, Brenda, Joey, Sue, awesome, awesome. Gail and Norma. I'm guessing, or Steve, whichever one of you it is, hello. Anyway, it's really good to see all of you. So what I wanna do is uh, from now until November 10th, which is another Friday, I want us to sew uh, for fall. So I have a bingo card and it has various categories on there. And on there are the fall fashion trends that I did saw in my research as well as a few normal fall things we do, okay? All right, so a few things are just reminders, too, of things, just so we stay on track with everything. Um, so let's go through, I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the card, and then we can talk about the trends and each one of, kind of, we can talk a little bit about patterns. However, I am going to do a separate video that won't be live where I'll go through each category and suggest some patterns. But for today, I just want to introduce the challenge, talk about the fall fashion trends, and catch up with all you guys because I love hanging out with you. All right, so um, I'm, I'm hoping that the volume of everything is okay. Please let me know if it isn't. Um, I think today is going to be okay. <laughs> so, um, all right, let me show you the bingo card. All right, so this is what I came up with. And you can see um, there are just different categories of things you could sew, plus a few reminder things, uh, fun things. Hi, Lynn, good to see you. I'm so glad that um, you're able to make it. I know you've got a lot going on right now, so thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Um, so at the top there, you can see uh, a cardigan. That's kind of a no-brainer for fall. So if you sew a cardigan, you can put an X on that square. So what I want you to do is print these off and then put an X across the ones you do and then uh, post your bingos to our Facebook group, okay? So, you know, take a snapshot of your card or whatever and just p post it to the Facebook group. I'm going to start a, a thread for that specifically. And we'll see who gets the most bingos. Um, I don't know, maybe some of us won't even get a bingo, but it'll be something to, oh, challenge us to like get going on things and think about, you know, cause it's still like, well, right now it's kind of chilly, but this week here at least is supposed to be really hot. And so it's easy to forget about the fact that we're gonna be turning our thermostats up <laughs> and uh, or yeah up to warm up very 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 shortly so let's think about um what we need for fall so cardigan was in the first block there going uh left to right uh, another trend i saw out there is black so a lot of people are a lot of people are thank you brenda for the thumbs up on the volume hi deb nice to see you thank you for tuning in um, black was another thing that I saw in, in the, um, 
fashion trends for fall. Um, there's a lot of classic things this fall, which I'm kind of happy to see. Um, the third thing was a maxi skirt. And um, we all have favorite patterns for that. Um, and uh, that's a great staple. I mean, almost any year, but um, this year they actually pointed it out. Looks great with boots or booties. Um, great for church, great for shopping. Um, it's, it's a great way to stay warm and look feminine. Um, the fourth one is a reminder. So a Christmas gift for someone. So if you sew a Christmas gift, you can um, go ahead and put an X in that square. Um, and that's a reminder here to let me remind you that every Monday I have Merry Mondays. Now through Christmas, I will be sharing a Christmas idea every Monday for you. It'll either be a gift or it will be uh, decor or some kind of thing that centers around the theme of Christmas. It could even be a holiday outfit for you. So um, it could be sewing for children, sewing for adults, you know, you name it. Anything that you know, comes into the holiday spirit, okay? Um, so that's what that block is all about. Go ahead and uh, between now and then, if you make a Christmas gift, you can give yourself an X there. Um, make a tried and true pattern. And I'm sorry for the noise. I have someone leaving something on my porch, so that's my ring doorbell letting me know someone is there. <laughs> um, it's live, you know, you just don't know. Um, Anyway, uh, if you make any of your tried and true patterns, you can go ahead and put an X there. We all know, we all have them, and um, I'm guessing this one will be a pretty easy one for most people. Going down to the second line, I have tailored separates that every single website I went to um, just emphasized tailored separates as something that um, would be big this fall so you know think of your um, blazers tailored pants tailored skirts um, and in that they also kind of said workwear so any kind of tailored separates workwear uh, what have you hi kathy good to see you also september is project dress a girl oh awesome that is a great project I need to catch up on that because we haven't done talked about that much since we had our Sewing for Good uh, series a while back. Um, the next little square over, we're on the second row now going left to right, um, sheer blouse. So a sheer blouse is something that now I know most of us are not going to wear it without something underneath it and that's okay. Um, but they did say that showing skin was a big thing this fall. Well, I'm not into showing too much skin, but I do think that uh, wearing a sheer chiffon type blouse with a cami underneath or, or a tank top underneath um, is a really pretty look. So I did go ahead and include it there. So that'll be an X you can mark off if you make uh, something like a Rhapsody or Ballad from Love Notions, um, something like that in like a sheer chiffon. You can, you can definitely count that. The next one is metallics. Everywhere I looked, they said metallic fabric was in style. I'm not sure how much I will wear it, but um, if you sew for anyone young or maybe uh, I think would count if you sewed some like gold, something gold for Christmas, like a, a stocking made out of gold um, lame or something like that. You could count that. Or if you did metallic embroidery, that would also count. Um, the next one is peplums. Um, so there's a lot of great peplum patterns out there. It could either be a top or a dress. Um, I'm thinking of the salt whistle or the Maggie peplum. Um, there's a lot of great ones out there. I think Itch to Stitch has a couple really nice ones also. Um, really good. Really good uh, patterns for that. And I think peplum, I'm glad to see peplums coming back because they are very figure defining and they will give you an hourglass when you don't think you have one. So it's a great option for those of us that are, you know, you think that hiding your middle is going to make you look thinner, but in reality, having something that snugs your middle just a little bit without being too tight 
is actually going to define your shape and make you look a little thinner. So peplums are a great thing to add to the list. The last one would be to try a new sewing technique you never did before. So if you pick up machine embroidery for the first time, that'll count. If you put in a zipper for the first time, um, if you sew a woven uh, shirt with set-in sleeves for the first time, anything that you do this month or this next two months that you haven't done before can count. Lynn says her, her dog is barking. Uh, hang on, I got to go back to that. Her dog is barking because she thinks someone's at her door because of my ring doorbell. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I got all the dogs excited. <laughs> then going to the third row, leggings. Okay, there's a lot of great legging patterns out there. And it was funny because I didn't know if those were still going to be considered in style. But according to the resources I looked at, leggings are very much still in style, as they suggest, with boots. Um, and under dresses that you know are shorter that you don't really want to show so much leg Sorry, I'm having coffee because it's just that kind of day All right, the next one over would be denim. So denim is I mean I don't think it ever goes out of style, but they mentioned it specifically for this fall and they had a whole list of wide leg, skinny leg, distressed, non-distressed, um, all, you know, you name it. It can just go the whole gamut. It can be a straight denim skirt, a A-line denim skirt, you name it. Um, overalls, anything denim. So denim is another thing. If you sew denim, then you can cross that one off. And then you have a free square, just like in all bingo, blah, blah, bingo games. You can get a free one right there. So the next one over would be the basic t-shirt. And there's a lot of great patterns for that as well. Uh, the classic tee, the bondi, um, a lot of really good ones. I'm wearing a classic tee today that I did the neckline variation on. Um, I did this neckline variation for a video from Love Notions, I think last year. So if you want to know how to do the braided neckline, check the Love Notions YouTube channel. They have it there. Um, and then the last one on that, I put just a little reminder because I know I forget and, um, the clean your serger. A couple weeks ago, my serger was messing up, and I'm, I'm, why, you know? And then I, I got out a lint brush and opened it up, and there was just so much fuzz in there. So I decided that I should go ahead and um, clean it out. So I did that. Let me move this over just a little bit because it's like hiding there. That's better. I'm not behind it half the time now. Um, so I thought a little reminder to clean your serger out, you know, and um, I want to do a video, two videos, one on serger maintenance and one on sewing machine, ma sewing machine maintenance and oiling and cleaning both. I found myself in a town now that has no sewing machine repairmen and it makes me nervous because I will have to drive very far if anything goes wrong with my machines. So I made it my, my goal to really really go hard after knowing how to oil and clean my machines so um, I will be doing some videos on that and also suggesting a couple other sites that really do a good job of uh, showing you all right going down to the next line is red if you sew something red you can count it um, red was on every list again uh, it especially head to toe red like you know, they had one lady had a red hat, a red jacket, a red dress, and red boots. You know, that's a little over the top to me. But if you sew a red dress or a red skirt, red top, you go ahead and count that. And since it's almost Christmas, that's probably a gimme. Some, most of you are going to sew something red in this season. Um, the next one is an hourglass silhouette. So that one um, was also on every list. And... When you think about it, you know, you think of the Dior cinched waists, these cinched, cinched waists and stuff like that. It's not necessarily um, like that. You could also do the Tessa dress. 
because um, it's a sheath dress that has some def definition to it. Another one is the Hepburn from Patterns for Pirates has a definition to it. Um, I actually love that pattern. The um, Eclipse Tank from Patterns for Pirates also has some nice definition. So it doesn't have to be like super tight or a bodycon thing or anything. Just, um, just giving your waistline some definition. Volume's too low. Okay, let me... Is that better? Oh, <laughs> Diane, that's okay. Grocery shopping is important, especially getting there before it gets crazy this weekend. <laughs> I totally get it. Um, closest sewing machine repair shop to you is a 45-minute drive. Yep, me too. It's all the way up in Adrian, Michigan, which is a good almost an hour away. So I really want to not have to do that if I can help it. Kathy said she has a great idea on the serger. She just took her Juki 1500 in for a spa day. <laughs> it is it just pressed now, adjusting the knives. I'm looking forward to videos on doing it myself. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything that I think we might mess up if we did it ourselves. But just basic cleaning, oiling, um, I may even change the knife on mine if I can find one and, you know, just, just how to care for it. Um, when we need a repairman, we need a repairman and there's probably no substitute for taking it in every, at least every couple years for a good tune up. But I think, you know, we can sort of in between times we can do, do that. Hi, Christine. Hi, Diane. Good to see you guys. All right. So the next thing I said red. Oh, okay. The next one is floral fabrics. So floral fabrics are in and I'm very happy about that. So grab your double brushed poly. Um, you can see all the florals I have behind me. There's tons and um, yeah, they're all in for fall. So um, they showed a lot of black florals. They showed a lot of navy florals. Um, they showed a lot of navy on black, which is really pretty. So uh, whatever, uh, whatever you like, but floral fabrics are in this year. That's probably the one I'm the most happy about. <laughs> Next is a hoodie. Everybody needs a hoodie. They don't go out of style. This could be for yourself. It could be for a spouse or it could be for a child, either one. Then the following one is to share a make in our Facebook group. So you're going to get a, a freebie if you just share a make in the Dorothy's Daughter community group, which is a good time for me to let remind everybody of our Facebook group. There's the address down below. And uh, feel free to, if you're not on it already, which most of you I think are, but go ahead and sign up for our Facebook group. Um, there's a lot of great help there, a lot of camaraderie, caring, and um, a lot of fun. So uh, keep up with us. And I always say this when I plug our Facebook group. If there's something that you specifically want me to see or a question you have for me, tag me in your post and I will definitely uh, see it and respond. Okay? All right. So there's that plug. <laughs> Okay, trying to keep the volume. Maybe that's a little better. Maybe I was talking too low for just a little bit there. All right, uh, the last row. So one of the resources I saw said that bows were um, going to be big. So you can add a bow to almost anything. Um, I was thinking of the Audrey top from, help me out, <laughs> what is the name of that? Lisa from, <laughs> I'll think of it. <laughs> I can't remember the, the company, isn't that terrible? It's, it's my old timer's brain. Um, I'll, I'll get back to you on that company. 
<laughs> the next one is wraps and capes. Um, what if they don't know how to tag? Oh, well, all you do is if you start typing my name, it'll come up as a suggestion. Just go ahead and click my name and it'll alert me to it. And you guys, if you see somebody trying to ask me a question and they haven't tagged me, you guys who know how to do that can tag me in the comments so that I see it, okay? Draw my attention to it. Oh no, Gail's genome is jammed. Oh, a serger or a sewing machine? Repair is an hour and a half away. I don't know what happened to all these small stores. We used to have a really great one but it closed and it's where I bought my machines and everything. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to find out what, <laughs> what the name of that pattern was. I'm going to just do a real quick search here. I mean, I know the name of the pattern, but I don't remember the, Audrey Top. So over it. So over it from, or the Audrey Top from So Over It has a bow on the side. You guys have probably seen me wear it before. <laughs> so sorry. All right, in the middle there on the bottom is sewing something for, for a child because I know a lot of you sew for your children or your grandchildren or you might be doing Christmas gifts. So that'll be another square you can X off. And then the next one is an oversized sweater. So they have a really good oversized sweater pattern at um, Ellie and Mac that uh, looks really interesting and um, any you can do with the La Bella Donna which happens to be the feature Friday for Love Notions today for only five dollars so if you want to grab a, you know run go over and grab that you can easily make that into an oversized sweater um, so that's another one and it, you know that counts if you also crochet or knit yourself one that that will definitely count as well Hello, Sophia. Just saw you are live. I'm making my husband a shirt with 87.53. Oh, thank you very much. And when you get to it, you'll see that I, I actually never did the last part of that series because COVID hit and then I had always intended to get back to it because I started doing videos that surrounded, you know, different things. And then, um, my husband passed, so I can't bring myself to go back to that shirt just yet. So uh, my apologies for not having the last of it there, but um, one day I will, I will finish it. Um, if I shorten the sleeve, I could give it to my brother. So I think that's what I will end up doing. All right, and then the very last square there is a coat or a jacket. And the ones that come to my mind are the coda is a jacket, from Love Notions, the octave is a coat. Um, there's a pea coat pattern. I think it's called the ruby from five out of four. That one looks really interesting as well. So, um, and this is encouraging me too because my husband two years ago bought me some beautiful blue wool for a coat and I have not done it yet. I'm a little scared to cut into it. It's Michael Kors fabric from Mood and he, um, paid a lot for it and I don't want to mess it up but I need to make it because it, he didn't buy it for me to sit on the shelf <laughs> so um, I want to do that this year so oh thank you Sophia he's um, it's been a little over a year and I'm doing well um, I was not doing many videos for a while but I think I'm back in the swing and um, I won't say I don't miss them every single day, but I'm starting to look forward to whatever life has uh, down the road for me. 
and um, I look forward to joining him someday whenever God decides to take me home. So um, that's where I'm at with that, and um, God is good, not just some of the time. He's good all of the time, and especially when you're in a situation where you, everything is lost, and, and it's he's there all the time. He's good all the time. So, all right. So that was the end of the bingo card. So tell me, what are you interested in sewing this year? What is on your radar? Um, I really am interested in what you guys are thinking. And um, I don't know, I'll come up with some kind of prize for whoever has the most bingos. Not sure what it'll be. Because I just thought of this whole challenge um, and I haven't really fleshed out prizes yet. But um, whoever gets the most bingos on the bingo card will get some kind of a prize. Um, I'll figure something out. It'll be something cool like, like a fabric gift card or something like that. <laughs> Oh, it was a sewing machine that you jammed? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, there is a YouTube channel, Gail, called the Sewing Machine Repair Guy. You might look and see if he has anything to offer on there. Um, I've gotten a lot of really good advice from him. Um, and that's what actually made me think about doing uh, some videos of maintenance and that kind of thing. Overalls dress. Okay. Yep, that could fall under the denim. It could fall under, uh, let's see, a tried and true maybe. So, Mortessa is new to sewing this year and you have a peplum pattern from Love Notions that you've got fabric for, but you're nervous to even get started. Oh, don't be. Those are the easiest Patterns to follow. They have so much help. And I think you, you're going to love, love that pattern. I, was it the Maggie or the Salt Whistle? Um, but, yeah, it's great. Um, and if you have any trouble, just post in the Facebook group and we'll all, we'll all help you. Um, and you can definitely, you know, put my name in there in the Facebook group and I will definitely try to help. I'm going to turn my fan on because it's really roasting under this light. Sorry about that, gals, but it was just really hot. Probably because I'm drinking coffee, too. Coda <laughs> uh, jacket. Oh, yes. That will be nice. Coat a jacket. And cardigans are in your future. Yep, definitely. Mine too this year. There is a Bernina. Oh, there's Bernina Jeff. Okay, that's good too. Bernina, uh, there's another tutorial site you can check into. A black metro. From, ooh, nice. That will be pretty. Um, Sue's taking a bra making course this month. So that would, could fall under your try a new sewing technique square. Um, the willow wrap dress pattern, okay. But you would make the top version. That's a really nice, that's a really nice pattern. Um, you won't have any issues with that. I think you'll do really well. The only thing to watch on that one is not to stretch um, the diagonal when you're um, hemming. Just make sure that you don't stress your fabric out. Um, but it's, you won't, it's great. Just follow their directions and you'll be great. So, so I said, anybody else excited about doing a little challenge this fall? I hope, <laughs> so I think it's gonna be fun. Um, let's see how we do. And definitely, you know, share it with your friends to jump in join the challenge and we'll see how many people we can get how many bingos we can tally up as a group and how many um who can get the most bingos i don't know how many would one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think 15 is the most you can get out of that square. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see who gets, who gets 10 or more, you know, bingos for doing all that stuff. <laughs> but even doing one or two is going to be great. So I made a red peplum. Ah, with gold trim. Can you do three blocks? I, you know, I think so. Um, yeah, I think you could do three blocks because it is a red and it is, you did so gold. Yeah, I think, I think it could count. I think if we don't do that, it, we won't have very many bingos, maybe. We might, I might have to live and learn on that one, but I think it's okay, Brenda. Uh, let's see. Kathy said, I bought quite a few cuts of Ponte from Minerva to make a bunch of Love Notions Metro blazers. Awesome. They're really, that's a great blazer, my favorite. Probably one of my favorite patterns of all time. I've made them for myself, several. I've made them for my mother-in-law who has since passed away. Um, but they're really, there's nobody who doesn't enjoy those because they're, if you make them, I made mine out of French terry. I made one out of Ponte, one out of French terry, and a couple other ones out of French terry. And honestly, the French terry are so nice because it's like wearing a sweatshirt, but it looks like a blazer. So it's like you're dressed up, but you feel casual. So it's really nice. Good. Good, good, good. I'm glad you guys are excited about that. So, um, what do you think about the fall trends? I, I think they're kind of good this year. I don't know about the sheer stuff. I'm a little... I don't like that they're saying show as much skin as possible because I don't really think that's a great thing to do. But um, as long as we're covered up underneath, no worries, I guess. Oh, you're welcome, Gail. No problem. She said, thank you for the recommendations. Um, without our sewing machines, like, I hate to think of where I'd be. Um, it's not only my source of enjoyment, sometimes even company. <laughs> you know, I think, I, you know, it's just, it's what I do all day. But it's also how I get my clothes, how I can afford lovely gifts for people. Um, I'm really thankful for my fabric stash as a widow. Uh, to be armed with so much fabric is really great because I can make my whole wardrobe and not spend a dime. And I can make a lot of gifts without spending a lot of money. So that is really great. Um, Glad that God allowed for me to have a nice big stash. Um, I don't know what your feelings are on that, but honestly, it's happened a couple times to me. Uh, a couple times my husband was laid off and we didn't have much income. And my fabric stash, I kept sewing, I kept doing videos and sewing right through it all and didn't have to spend any money. And even as a widow now, I don't have to spend much money. Um, because I have this wonderful stash of fabric, so it's nice. So who has great plans this weekend? Who's just going to sew like crazy? That's what I'm going to do. I'm testing um, something for Love Notions. I don't know if she's talked about it yet, so I'm not going to mention it, but something yummy from Love Notions. I'm testing, so I'm sewing up one of the versions this weekend. Um... It'll, that'll be really, it'll be something really cool. You'll like it. And I just haven't seen her mention it on the, on the Facebook group yet. So uh, I won't let the cat out of the bag because I don't know if she has. Um, they've got a lot of great plans at Love Notions coming up. Those girls are on it for sure. Also, my code for Love Notions changed. I think this is the beginning of a new quarter. So let me find out real quick what it changed to. So I can't remember what I made it. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to sign in. I should have written it down, but that would have been too smart. Okay, here we go. Ambassadors. Discount codes. I will see what my code will be for this quarter. I think it's isn't September start a new quarter? September, October? No. I don't think it starts till October, right? Um yeah. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So yeah, it won't the new code won't start until the um till the first of October. So never mind. But we I set them for the whole year like a long time ago, so I don't remember what I made it. But right now it's DD Tuber, so it'll be that through September still. Of course, Google wants me to update everything while I'm just trying to log on to the thing. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think starting October 1st, mine is going to be So Gifts, S E W G I F T S, but not yet. It's still due DD Tuber till October. Okay, um, yeah, anybody have uh, other pattern ideas for any of the bingo cards? Oh, cool. Yes, Brenda, it was cargo pants. <laughs> Since they've teased it, I'll tease it too. Yes, they are cargo pants that I'm testing. And they are really, I mean, you know, this is just the beginning of the fit test, and I'm telling you, they fit. They really fit, so they're really good. You're going to love them. Diane says she just finished a project and cleaned her sewing room, so you're ready to start something new. Not sure yet what to do. Isn't that a good feeling? You can pick anything in the world that you want to sew. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, good. Thank you, Lisa. So I was right. It doesn't start. It doesn't change till October. Thank you for using my code, Lisa. I appreciate that. Anne says, I watch Sewing Scenes with Deb. Check her out. Great sense of humor. Yeah, I will. Good. I'll go ahead and plug that site here by putting your post up. <laughs> so... Our channel's growing again. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I feel like I'm back, uh, able to give it a lot more of myself than I have in the past year and few months. Um, it feels good to be back and um, really be planning a lot of things again. Dolores is still thinking Christmas gifts, ordering some of them. Kindred fabric, oh, some of the some of the fabric for reading pillows. Yep, I know that is something I really, really um, love to give. Um, also, those notebooks that I did on on um, Merry Monday, composition notebooks. I've made, oh gosh, so many of those, and this. I think I'm going to have at least a dozen made for friends, just, you know, just as an impromptu gift around the holidays. So what's everyone's favorite cardigan? Hmm. Mine would be, um, I think Harper. And it's a free one. But the Harper cardigan by Sinclair, it's a free pattern. And I really like that one a lot. 
it um, has a nice wide band and I just really like the way it lays um, and they also have it for petite tall and regular so I like the petite um, because it's smaller around here and fits me better need a blouse pattern to embroider well Joey have you seen the Juliet by Love Notions has the rounded yoke and I did um, embroidery on that just get a neckline um, file and then you can just size it appropriately in software and then um, embroider your fabric what I did was I embroidered it before I cut it out so um, I did like a beige on beige so it was a like a it wasn't colored on you know it was the same it was monochrome I guess that's the word I'm looking for but it was a really nice one to embroider um, there's a lot of them there's a couple of tunics out there that have you know like embroidery here um, I am really getting into the machine embroidery I'm doing some digitizing of my own files now and really enjoying some um, software from in brilliance that I really like using and I'm most likely going to be um, I'm most likely going to be doing a series on this software I'm waiting to hear back from them on a couple things um, and then I may be doing that shortly all right, I want to take a minute and remind everybody to subscribe. Okay, I, mean, I hit 22,000 this week, and which is good. I thought I'd be further along by now, but that's because I got waylaid there. I'd lost a whole year of growth on this channel pretty much because I, well, it, it grew, but it didn't grow as much as if I would have been putting myself into it. So um, now I want to catch up. <laughs> so um, I love... I'd love to celebrate getting to 50. That would be just awesome. And I would, before I retire someday, I want my gold play or my silver play button, which is 100,000 subscribers. So help me get there, girls. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, you want to see that? I, can, I did a video on that, but I'll go get grab it out of my closet so you can see it. One second. All right. Here is that Juliet that I did. I'll get close up on the embroidery. You can see this was uh, called hibiscus, and it called for color, but I just did it all in this tan. So um, it was really. A really fun thing to do but I definitely embroidered this piece before I cut it out so there's a video um, there's a video on the Juliet top where I did a review and then also um, did a little bit about the embroidery so thank you very much you guys I am excited that we're at 22,000 little things excite me um, but mostly I'm excited to teach. I love, love, love to teach. So um, I'm back at it and really, um, I'm really motivated to do more on my channel. I had so many high hopes and things that just, I just didn't follow through because I just did not have the capacity for a little while, which, you know, I think you guys all understood. I really, 
I felt very supported through the whole thing. Thank you all for that. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to put the bingo card on the Facebook group, Lynn, but let me put it up here. Um, I'll also, maybe I'll just throw the the bingo card on Google Drive and stick a link in the uh, com or in the down in the uh, not comments description. <laughs> um, but here's the bingo card, so you can just see it. You can take a screenshot, and then I'll I'll go ahead and put, post the file in the Facebook group, and also I'll put a link down below. So, yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, this was a stretch gauze, and um, it was a bear to work with, but I really loved how this embroidery turned out. That was my first embroidery on a garment um, for myself. I did t-shirts for my grandkids, but that was the first time I had done anything for me. Thank you, Lynn. Um, so, uh, let's see. Coming up, we have Merry Monday. Got something planned for that. Um, we have... Um, I still have the Bondi tea to do the review on. I'm a little behind in getting that up, and I apologize. I just... I've had, you know, the Merry Mondays, and, you know, there's just... You can only... I have so many ideas and only so much time to throw the videos up so there's that review um, I'm texting testing the uh, thing from love notion so that will be a new uh, on release day that will be a video um, yeah so who likes to read because um, there's a couple really cool books that have to do with sewing um, that I have on my list to read. Um, and, okay, what well, was one of them? Well, The Gown was probably my favorite. But there's also the, um, um, <laughs> my brain. Um, there's also a book about um, Dior and uh, oh, I know what it was. This and I listened to a podcast on this book. Sorry, guys. I just had a little, I don't know, afternoon brain there for a minute. It's called The Last Dress from Paris. And it's just a beautiful story about a dress <clears throat> that her grandmother had in Paris. And um, her dying wish was for her granddaughter to go retrieve this dress. And it ties some incidences from the past, and it's just a really neat fiction book. So um, I'll just plug that book. Um, it was really good. I love fiction, so historical fiction mostly. So, um, yeah, if you have any sewing-related books to recommend, I'm, I'm all down for that, too. So, um, who's sewing today? What are you making? What are you making this weekend? Anybody? <laughs> I, um, I told you I'm doing the test for Love Notions. I can even show you a piece of the fabric. I could do that. I'll show you a scrap. Oh, I loved that book, Lynn, The Pink Suit. That was a book about um, Jackie Kennedy's Pink Suit. Such a good book. I recommend that highly. This is my stretch twill that I'm using for my fabric test, or for my pattern test. I think it's going to be a really nice pair of pants so um, looking forward to see it even 
can even wear this. See? Right there. So, it's warm today all of a sudden. It wasn't earlier. <laughs> Book covers and Project Dress a Girl. I've got to. Um, would you post again about Project Dress a Girl on the Facebook group so we can all check it out? Um, when we did the uh, Sewing for Good Challenge, um, we shared a lot of those things, and I some of them run together for me. So um, if you would share that online in case somebody wants to do that with you. Sue's working on a Rhapsody. Lynn's making book covers and Project Dress a Girl. Brenda is making visibility vest for her son. Oh, that's cool. He works on a construction site. That's really smart. Really smart. Where do you get your bright fabrics from? Um, I'm wondering because I got some in a mystery box and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, Brenda, are you in the U.S.? Let me know. If you're in the U.S. and you can use some bright, bright orange fabric for that, I will send it to you. <laughs> so, private message me. Um, just send me a message on Facebook Messenger or something. Sandra Ames, she's starting a Muslim of the Celeste dress from Itch to Stitch. That's a good one, too. How much stretch and twill? Uh, there's, I'd say there's a good 20%, maybe. Um, it's plenty. In fact, my, um, my sizing is very true to size and I may even have to downsize a little because of the stretch. So, um, yeah, of course it's still in testing, so who knows where it's gonna end up, but yeah. Who makes muslins? Do you guys all make, you know, I do, but I don't, if that makes any sense. I make muslins, but I fully intend for them to be wearable and once in a while they're not but I go at them with the intention that they'll be wearable so if I have for instance with this I have this fabric and I have an olive green and I really want the olive green like I really really want the olive green so this I'm using for the fit version but I intend for these to be wearable I mean I will work on these until they are wearable you know, even if the fit test isn't the best, I will work on those. So, you're in Columbus. Oh, you're like right down the road. I'm in, actually, I'm in Michigan, but I'm in a suburb that is of Toledo. So, um, it's the greater Toledo area still. So, well, y'all, it's almost five, and I, uh, have to get some stuff done. I hope I'm having company over this weekend sometime. I was gonna, I was gonna be hosting one of our favorite people, uh, Ivy. We were gonna get together this weekend, and then um, it turned out she was not able to. So um, I'm bummed about that. But um, I do have a few things planned. My son's birthday is today, so we're taking him out on Sunday for his birthday. And um, I might have some of the ladies over from my widow group. So um, it should be a fun weekend, but I plan to be sewing a lot as well. <clears throat> Usually, occasionally, yeah, that's me too, Sue. I, I do make muslins, but I fully, and I go at them with the thought that they're gonna be wearable. Um, once in a while, I will use an old bed sheet if I really wanna get pants right, <clears throat> but even I've gotten to where I know my body so much that I don't even need to do that anymore, really. 
You guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys have fun with the challenge. Um, spread the word. Get people in on it. And um, we should have some fun with it. So uh, let me know. And I will put the... Um, I will put the uh, bingo card downloadable in the description below and on the Facebook group. If you're not on the Facebook group, join and leave me up, leave us a post of something you made so that you can, that's a gimme square. <laughs> so um, yeah, just join in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget Merry Mondays and Get your Christmas ideas together, girls, because it's I we don't have that much time. It's really coming up. So um, I've got big plans this year. We'll see how that goes over. <laughs> Usually I have these grand plans, and about two-thirds of it might actually happen. But at least you start with the plans, right? So, all right, you guys, I love you all so much. Thank you for everything from the bottom of my heart. Have a wonderful day and happy sewing. Bye-bye. Oh, how far does fall extend? Uh, oh, this, this uh, challenge will be until November 10th. Uh, I don't know when, like, the calendar says falls over. I don't think it's, I don't think it's until December, actually, by the calendar. But this challenge goes to November 10th. All right? I will see you all soon in the next one. God bless and happy sewing.